Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Going to the wake store. sidekick with me today. Good old Mr. Anthony. My ear itches. Merrick Beauty. Riding around today. to go to the wig store and then I'm going to hit up Ulta Beauty. I've got to get something from there. Now every time I go to Ulta or Sephora I feel like I'm simply beautiful on a budget. It makes me excited. I'm trying to get all this stuff done before I go live tonight for my um, advice show. Hey Douglas, how are you? I was just saying I'm heading to the wig store and stuff. I got to go and get a, a wig or two and then I've got to go to Ultra Beauty and uh, get some stuff from there. So I'm a little excited about that. I don't have my sidekick Tony with me today. He's just got off work and so I was off today. So I finally got the car back. truck on my tail. I even went live today. I was cleaning up the bedroom and stuff. I only did about half of it today. The other half I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to detail everything. I'm going to wipe down walls, all that stuff. It's not going to work. I'm trying to get all my stuff done because I'm going to go live tonight. Um, I'm going live. I'm doing my advice show tonight. I need a new wig for all that. Oh, well, that's nice, Douglas. Thank you. I enjoyed your uh, live stream the other night. Project Dorton was being a little naughty. But he had me laughing so hard.
I don't really like driving at this time in Augusta, but I had to. Not very big on traffic. Let's be honest, there's some ugly ass cars. Still sick. What he needs to do is he needs to take a shot of Crown Royal, put a little bit of honey in it, heat it up in the um, heat it up in the microwave for a little, you know, just to get it warm, nice and warm, so the um, honey melts. And then he needs to uh, get in bed and just cover up with like a bunch of blankets and stuff and just sweat it out. That's what I always do. Hey, Big Mouth. My goal is not to spend a lot of money today. But we'll see. It's going good. I've got to go. I'm on my way to the wig store and stuff. i got to go get a wig for tonight. And um, i got to pick up another wig for an, uh, a friend of mine. Uh, for Halloween, we're doing um, Lois and Peter Griffin, so I've got to go get her a wig and um, everything. And then I've got to stop by Ulta Beauty, 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 Ulta Beauty, Ulta Beauty, and pick up some um, stuff from there. Yeah, I like I love Family Guy too. I'm going as Peter Griffin at work, and she's going to do Lois Griffin, and then um, one of our uh, other co-workers is going to go as Meg. But I'm gonna make um get some cotton balls and stuff, and just kind of glue it to my face, and make the little ball chin. Honestly, I don't, uh, we probably won't have those. We'll probably just get the dolls or something and just have them sitting there. I've been cleaning all day, so I'm a little tired. Trying to watch the chat and trying to drive at the same time, so just trying to get to where I got to go. I'm gonna drive y'all by the um, the fair here in Augusta. See if y'all can't see it and stuff. We've um. We can't really have a fair in Augusta because people don't know how to respect Augusta, don't know how to respect people, and there's always fighting and shooting and all that stuff going on where this is, so it's not always that good. Well, that sucks, Project Orton. I was just talking about how naughty you were being the other night and was making me roll on the floor laughing. stick ready just in case that you happen to watch me take a shower or something.
Just kidding, just kidding. JK, JK. JK. People in this damn town, they don't know how to drive properly. I'm listening to the new Shania Twain CD. Hey, Nikki, how are you? I'm going live tonight, Miss Nikki. I'm doing an advice column. Hey, DJ Davis, how are you? <clears throat> oh, I'm doing great, Nikki. I'm on my way to go um, shopping at a wig store. And then while I'm there, I'm going to kind of show... Um, show everyone like the uh, the glue that I've been talking about that I use on my eyes and about how much it is and stuff like that and then I've got to go to Ulta Beauty and stuff but right now instead of taking um, I-520 I'm going to just go to the back way <clears throat> no nothing's popping with me DJ um, but I'm going to drive by the fair and stuff that lady's nice. She's sweet. Oh, Lord, you shouldn't have told me they have a sale, Nikki. <laughs> now I'm going to be spending way too much money. Way too much money. And I got to get two wigs. Yeah, make sure if you haven't subbed to everyone, make sure everyone's subbing to each other. DJ, I am a female illusionist, um, a drag queen or whatever you want to call. Um, so I get new wigs and stuff. I'm going to be in drag tonight. I'm going um, live tonight in drag. Um, It's this stupid ass right here. I understand that. Stupid. No shit, motherfucker. Put a goddamn sign up. Sorry, y'all. I almost got into a wreck. They don't have a flagger out. They don't have anything. And I almost hit um, the cones, and then there was a white truck behind me that almost hit me. So, yeah. Sorry about the language, guys. I can get real mean real fast. I don't have time for stupidity. Oh, I'm the same way, Nikki. I don't like to show that side of me, but... Sometimes they need it. And then he's, the guy just sat there and was like, you need to go around. You need to get these out. You need to have it said, it said utility work. It said utility work and stuff, but people are stupid. Sorry guys, it's saying I have bad connection. I'm trying to, I want to show y'all the, um, the fair that we have here and stuff. It's probably me. I was going through a bad spot, but I'm going to turn my camera around so y'all can kind of see. I'm going to go a little, little slow so y'all can see our little fair that we have. You can see there's the Ferris wheel. and That's the Augusta Fair, the Richmond County Fair. I call it the little piece of shit fair. 
because the whole time you're sitting there and it's nothing but a piece of crap because everybody and their brother have got to fight and do all the crazy stuff and I ain't got time for all that. Oh, and I just got stopped by a stupid train. But I'm back now. <laughs> I had my bipolar moment there for a minute. No, the train shouldn't be too long. Normally about this time of day, they're not that long normally. But you never know what it stops and yeah I'll have to be turning my butt around because I can't I don't have patience for this today I got things to do I need a cigarette after that thing with that guy anyways I think I was explaining DJ um, I'm a performer if you look on my on my YouTube channel you'll see um and five years ago I had a channel um, called Shannon Talks Back my real name is Sean. Uh, Shannon Rose is my drag persona name. Um, but what I do is I perform it at clubs, local gay clubs and stuff. Um, as a female illusionist, a drag queen, I do some illusions like Adele, Winona, uh, Roseanne Barr, stuff like that. Um, and then, but now I, I've started doing like makeup tutorials. I do things like that. Um, tonight I'm going to be getting in drag. I'm going to do an actual, um, advice column for people. So, and it's going to be adult, it's going to be adult rated, age restricted because I'm going to talk about everything. So like, even if somebody comes to me and asks me a question about sex, I'm going to, you know, give them my advice on sex. Um, sometimes I do DJ, uh, Sometimes I do, but I don't sing live. I lip sync to their songs, but um, my husband makes a lot of my mixes and stuff, so he'll mix some songs together for me and stuff, so it's a little bit longer. Hey, Eric, your alarm went off. I'm going shopping. I'm going to Ulta Beauty. I feel like i um, Simply Beautiful on a Budget. Oh, and I got mad today, too, because I was going to go, I went to go to the post office to go ship off um, the, the friend mail that I have for Simply Beautiful and Simply Country. However, they closed early, and I forgot that Wednesdays they close early, so I got to wait till tomorrow just to ship it off. Oh, you make music, too? DJ, that's cool. Nothing much, Eric. How are you today? Are you heading back tonight or are you staying with um, Candy? Okay, you're leaving about 7? Okay. Well, I'm going live about 9 o'clock tonight. Um, I'm going to do an advice column or an advice show. And it's going to be a once a week thing. So, hey, Jacqueline. Jack, Jacqueline. I, I think I'm saying that right. Jack, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Okay, I'm right. Good. I'm not very good at pronouncing some names, so just call you Lynn. I got you. That That's so much easier. But yeah, I'm going live tonight, um, probably about 9, 
Um, I'm going to do an advice show. I'm getting in full makeup, so I'm going to go buy me a new wig today. Um, another reason why I went live today is because I wanted to show um, some of my subs uh, have been asking where I get my lash glue and some of my lashes and what what size lashes and stuff I use. So I'm taking y'all on how I go shopping at a wig store. And then I got to run by Ulta, pick up something from there. Oh, Jackie is what everyone calls you. Okay. Well, that's easy too. I'm stuck behind a train. Hopefully it'll be ending soon. I'm actually behind a truck, but it don't look like it's going to end no time soon. Um, Jackie, I don't know yet. I'm probably, I'm thinking about going with something short. I kind of like short hair, especially now, um, that it's cooler and st well, I guess since it's cooler, I should get a long hair, but, um, I, I prefer short hair. I'm probably, I'm thinking about getting a gray wig. Because I've been seeing, you know, that's the trend and stuff. Just trying to figure out what this big truck's doing in front of me. It's looking... Yeah. Well, it's starting to move a little bit, but actually the train stopped, so... I'm going to make a turn up here. If this big truck will turn, I'm going to take a turn. So, let's just make this turn real fast. Oh, Lord Jesus. That big truck almost hit another car. I ain't got time for this today. Oh, Lord Jesus. Alright, let's go this way. We'll do this. Okay, thank you for the update, Eric. Um, tell Candy I love her and I'm thinking about her. Hey, Deadhead. I don't have time for nothing today, Jackie, or Davis, DJ. I don't have time for anything. And everyone, please make sure that you you um, say a, a prayer for um, Simply Beautiful on a Budget and Simply Country. Uh, Simply Beautiful on a Budget's mother is in the process of uh, passing away. Um, and uh, I've been trying to talk to her every day. I haven't called her today, though, but I am probably going to call her here in a little while since Eric gave me that update. Um, but Eric is one of the strongest guys I know. He's, he's so supportive of his wife. And, um, you know, their, their marriage is so dynamic. It's just wonderful to see people happy like that. Um, but I pray, you know... Now that you know that that death is upon us or death is upon someone, I, I always pray for the Lord to have a speedy takeoff um, and a safe takeoff and that, you know, the angels above will come down and she'll always be an angel in, in, in simply his life and everything. So just please make sure that you pray for them and make pray that, you know, that she gets through this and that she's healed. And, um, I believe in prayer, uh, 100% believe in it.
I know what she's going through. Um, I had to deal with it. It was my with my grandparents. I'm very I was very close to them. Um, I'm the only child and the first grandchild and the first great grandchild. So um, I've always been very close to my grandparents, and it's been about eight years or something or so since they've passed, almost nine years for my grandfather. Um, but he, um, my grandmother passed one year, three weeks, and 30 minutes after my grandfather's death date. Um, and those two deaths were the hardest in my life. So, um, yeah, DJ, my aunt, my aunt actually just passed away last week. My great aunt, uh, just passed away last week of, uh, cancer. So, uh, you know, this is all, all hard and stuff and, um, she never had any children or anything like that. And, um, then I had another aunt. My mom's sister passed away um, on my birthday. Um, and it's a, a weird story with that. Um, the day that I was born, my aunt, Yvonne, was the first one to hold me. Uh, the first one to see me, everything. And then she passed away on my birthday. So... I was actually born on my grandfather's, my mom's, uh, grandfather's birthday, on my great-grandfather's birthday. So, you know, I know all too well about death right now. <laughs> but I also know that time heals all wounds, and you never get over the death of someone, especially someone that you, you love and you care for deeply. Um that's one of the hardest things in life and it's it's even harder like like she said to me yesterday you know when it it's a lot different story um when it's a surprise and and you don't know um but when you do know that they're they're doing that you know trying to get grasp reality of you know you don't want to let them go but you don't want to see them suffering either and that's one of the hardest things in life, especially if you have to bury a, a parent, you know, I guess we're all designed to where we don't, you know, parents aren't supposed to bury children and, and stuff like that. But I say when God's ready for you, God's ready for you and you're going to go no matter what. Um, I think right now what God's doing is making a little room for another angel to come up to heaven. So. Sorry, guys, the sun is in my high, my eyes. And see, I, I feel like that would be really, really hard to do, uh, to pull the plug. I don't know if I could ever do it. Um, but I'm sure if, if I had to, I would. Um, it's really hard on me, and luckily I have a, a wonderful husband as well uh, that supports me and, and holds me when I'm down or pushes me when I don't feel like doing anything. Um you know, he's just an all-around great guy, uh, and he's, he's on YouTube as well, he just, ha he's in the process of making his introduction videos, but, um, his channel is called Adventures with Tony, um, he's paying homage to, uh, Adventures with Talia, um, but, you know, it's just, death is not a fun thing to go through, no matter who or what you are, where you are in life, or anything like that. But I think for me, you know, I don't know how long I've got with my dad. Um, my dad's a double amputee. He has asbestos in his lungs. Um, he's on, like, so much medication every day. And, um, you know, the I, I just see him, each day I see him, you know, not making it. But somehow he does. That is very true, DJ. That is very, very true. And, you know, I think the hardest death for me 
and I, and I can completely understand what Simply uh, Beautiful um, I, I'm sure you you're a nurse aren't you uh, Jackie are you a nurse you know sometimes you just don't have the words you just you just don't have the words for someone that's that's going through stuff and you know to me oh you have cancer Jackie oh okay well honey I'm praying for you 100% and I pray for all my subs every night I've got a list that I write down every new sub I add them to my list and I say a special prayer for every single one of my subs whether I know you personally or not um I just, that's just how I am. I always pray every night, and I say a, a separate prayer every night, so you will definitely be on that, that prayer list. You've had cancer for 30 years? Wow. Cancer's no joke, man. It is no joke. I, I hate cancer. think cancer is a bully and I think I feel like we have the cure for cancer but they don't want to give it to us because they want us to fork out all this freaking money that's amazing Jackie that is absolutely amazing and I am definitely going to be checking out your YouTube I have I've got to I was on it for a little bit today because I was going through some of my new subs and stuff like that and just trying to watch some of their stuff. I try to like everybody's stuff and all that and I just, yeah, I know they have a cure, but they want us to fork out all this money for chemo and radiation and all this stuff. You know, why not have, I, I feel like it's, I feel like this, I feel like it's population control. Honestly and truthfully, I feel like that's how they control the population. They're like, oop, sorry, well, there's too many of you guys now, so now we have to do this. They have, I feel like they have cures for everything. Yeah, it is ridiculous, DJ. Very much so ridiculous. Hi, Flycam. How are you? Yeah, and chemo, you know, my, my grandfather, my grandfather had uh, colon cancer. Um, and, uh, you know, luckily the chemo that he had to take and stuff, it, it wiped it, it, you know, it, it wiped it away and stuff. But, and then my aunt, my dad's sister, she had breast cancer. Um, my great aunt on my mom's side had cancer, so I just know way too many people that's had cancer, and I just feel like cancer is a bully. I just do. Yes, make sure that we are praying. I'm praying for everybody, though, but especially them, because like I said, I was, the, I was also the last with my grandmother. My grandfather, the day he passed away... Um, I had gotten the telephone call. They lived one house above us, um, or they did. Um, and so the day he passed away, my mom had called me and told me I needed to get up there right now that Papa was passing away. And so I ran up there and, um, well, fly cam, I, I am so sorry you lost your mom. I know that's very hard. And and actually, Simply Beautiful on a Budget um, is losing her mother at the moment due to cancer and stuff. So, um, the, uh, the nurses came in and said it could be any time. It could possibly be tonight that she, that she leaves us. Um, but my mom told me I needed to come up there. I needed to, you know, say my goodbyes and all that stuff. I don't believe in saying goodbye to people. 
I don't. I don't believe in telling my loved ones goodbye because that's not a goodbye. It's a, I'll see you next, I'll see you later. Um, I don't, I don't like saying goodbye. Um, it, it's just too hard for me. But, um, he had, um, and this is what makes me mad with hospice. He was on hospice and stuff, but he was, he also had round the clock nurse care. One of his nurses had him, um, out and was paying bills and stuff like, and guys, I'm not ignoring the chats. I'm just in traffic right now, so I will get with that. Right. Never, I never say goodbye. Ever. Um, but one of his nurses had taken him out, and this was in the middle of June. So, down here in the south, it gets very hot, very humid. Um, I'll make sure to check that out, Jackie. Um, very hot, very humid. And so, she took him out of the house to go, to go run errands, because my grandmother needed some stuff for my papa and stuff like that. And, um, she left him in the car, the hot car. And so whenever he got back to the house, he was burning up. Like, he was extremely hot. Well, he ended up getting pneumonia because of that. And that's ultimately what took him out. Um, he did have Alzheimer's. So, you know, we've, we've, had, a bill, we've had a battle with Alzheimer's, um, which was one of the hardest things for me to deal with with Alzheimer's with my papa because my papa taught me everything I know. Um as far as like working doing gardening and and building things and shooting guns and shooting pistols he taught me how to drive whenever i was 12 years old which my mom actually taught me as well but my papa was ultimately the first one to teach me was the first one to just say scoot over you're driving today and um the day he was he was dying the phlegm was coming out of his mouth and okay dj um, I'll see you later. Hopefully, I'll see you tonight about 9.30 or so. Um, yeah. But, um, so, like, I, you know, the phlegm was coming up, and my grandmothers, they were married for close to 80 years, 70 years, 70 years. Um, and so, you know, they... She was sitting there feeding him his medication and saying, here, here, G, take this, take this, take this. And she, he, she had it in applesauce. Well, it was just coming right back up and right back up out of the phlegm. You know, he just couldn't. And um, he passed away going towards the hospital. Um, and then with my grandmother, whenever he died, my grandmother had actually put a lot of her health issues on the back burner. And uh, when she passed away, she had over 19 different infections in her body. Uh, one of them was cellulitis, uh, but she had the flesh-eating disease or the flesh-eating virus or whatever it is, infection. Um, and so, you know, my grandmother was my world. And uh, I was the... That Sunday before she passed, because she passed on a um, Tuesday... Yeah, so Sunday, I was the last person to feed her. I was the last person that she would eat from, and I fed her breakfast that day. And Tuesday, I was making spaghetti, and I had the water in my hand, like the, the pot of water in my hands, and the, I was going to go drain the, the noodles and stuff, and I turned around, and in my doorway, I see my Nana. And she's standing there, and she blows me a kiss. And I'll never forget this, y'all. I, I dropped my pot of water and I started screaming and my mom came running in there and she was like what's wrong what's wrong and um, I said mama I said Nana's gone the hardest words I've ever had to say in my life was my Nana is gone and so she was like no Sean she's not gone your dad's up there at the hospital if she was gone he would have called two seconds later my mom's phone rings and my dad said 
Mary Mama's Mama's passed away. And I just hit the floor and I just started crying. And I just I you know, because I loved my Nana. My Nana was my best friend. She was everything to me. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to cry or anything or get emotional because I don't really show my my emotion very well. I'm just don't. But um I love my grandmother and you know to this day there's never a day that doesn't go by that I just want to pick up my telephone and I want to call her like I did every day and you know go see her all the time and you know just sit there and just talk to her and everything but you know you just can't sometimes you know I still talk to my grandmother I mean some people think I'm crazy because I sit there and I talk to her but you know, I loved my grandmother. Even though she's gone, she's not gone from my heart. And I know that she's right here next to me. So. Yeah, yeah that's a little bit of my sappy, sad story today. But we're getting closer to the wig store now. So. Whew. <clears throat> Maybe I should have took the interstate today. This is the worst, one of the wor worst roads here. Oh, that's, that's, that's wonderful, Jackie. My, um, my grandmother's name was, uh, Edith Josephine Percival, and my grandfather's name was Goble Ballard Percival. Um, they were both from Tennessee, and my grandmother used to play basketball, and she actually lived one town over from where Dolly Parton grew up, um, which, of course, Dolly was younger than um, my, my nana, but um, she played basketball against Dolly Parton's high school when she was a kid, so... But I definitely know how, how death affects affects people. And I had gotten to the point where I started pushing people away after my Nana died. And so I totally understand where, where some people are, you know, coming from as far as that. And I understand how, you know, I understand how death is not fun, period. It's not a fun experience to go through. But I've gotten to, you know, one of the main things that my Nana has always taught me is, son, we don't live here forever. We're not granted every day here. We, you know, when I'm gone, do not call, do, don't cry for me. Don't cry for me because I'm up here with God. I'm up here where I want to be. And I'm, I'm running around and I'm rejoicing and I'm just happy. I'm with my mom. I'm with my dad. You know, all those things. So, you know, it's, it's hard because I don't. The, the thing that hurts the most is you don't buy a fly cam is you don't want to leave. You know, you don't want them to leave. And that's the selfish side of us. We don't want them to leave. We don't want them to leave us at all, period. End of discussion. We, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't leave me. Why, why do you have to leave me? And, you know, you can get mad and scream and cry and just throw things. You know, sometimes it's like, well, I don't, I don't appreciate, you know, why did you take, you know, God, why did you take my Nana or why did you take my mom or anything like that? So, you know, I can ultimate, you know, I understand where all that pain and hurt comes from. God. Let's find the parking spot here. All right, guys, we are here at my favorite wig store. So now we're going to stop talking about death for a little while because... Big Mama here needs to stop talking about death for a little bit. So we're going to do something fun and we're going to go wig shopping. Uh, where's my wallet? There it is. Alright guys, let's go wig shopping here. Mm. Anyways, the wig store that I go to, it's called um, Seven Beauty Mart. That's 
this joker around. Yes, big time. Oh, look, that's a cute wig. All right. All right. Let's see. I want a short wig. Oh, all those are 30% off. Look at that. I don't want to spend a lot on a wig, though. I'm not here for a long way. Let's see. I like to shop a little bit. I want to get me a short way. Short way, short way. Are always fun. See, I kind of like, I like that. Not for $26. That's crazy. I ain't pay no tag on $26. We'll go down this aisle. See what they have here. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this one's only twenty dollars, guys. Look at that one. You like that one? I like that one. Let's see. Now we're getting expensive here. This is the expensive part. Just the human hair stuff. We can't. I might just get that one. That one's like really cute. And it was only $20. Hey, Cheryl. I think I might get that one actually. I don't know. I gotta think. I gotta. Let's see. I'm thinking. Oh, wait, guys, wait. Oh, no, that one's ugly. I don't like that one either. No, I ain't even showing that one on the camera. That was crazy. Let's see. Stomach is hurting today. I'm just looking. That looks fun. Yeah, that is cheap. There it is. A long gray one. Hmm. These are thirty percent off, but I don't like that one. Where's the one I like? That's cute too. Oh, what is someone that I just saw? This is it. I like I like that. That's cute. That's twenty six. Let's see. It does. Let's see. Lillian. I gotta find it down here though. That's the only thing is trying to find these here wigs. You can't ever find them. Let's see, and this is a model. Let's see. You like the blue one more? They got it in different colors too. Yeah, 
trying to figure out where they are there. Hold on, guys. Let me try to figure out where they are. I hope that's not the only one they got because I'd like a different color, though, you know? Let's see. Do you like that color or... See, I like that color too, but I kind of like the, the burgundy one too. That spicy. See the spicy? And I also like the pinks too. So, I'm just trying to find them. Which I probably won't. Because I'm not ever good at finding these things. I think I should get the pink. Well, they got two different pinks. They got a rose gold and a rose pink. See, I kind of like that burgundy one, though. Look at that burgundy one. And, of course, they got a cocoa one, which is really cute, too. Look, now that's a fun wig right there. That was a fun wig. Okay. So, I'm going to get that one. I just need to get somebody to help me with it. And while I'm looking for that, let's see if I can't find the, the wig glue here. Yes, I need a wig. Okay. I've got a YouTube channel, so we're YouTube shopping. <laughs> and I'm a drag queen, so I like to get funky new things. And I was thinking about that short blue one right up there. Oh, Lord, I don't know, Blue. Where is it? Right there. <laughs> oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. But I couldn't find any down here in the thing. But I was thinking, like, not that color. Like, I like this one. Mm -hmm. But I kind of like the burgundy one, too. That's the spicy one right there. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it, too. Okay. Hey, Talia, we're wig shopping. Yeah, see, I have the same problem. <laughs> you know, you talking about me? What I'm doing? Yeah. Because <laughs> I came in, I wanted, I've been wanting gray wigs because a lot of the queens are now going with gray hair, but I kind of like that one too. Because, you know, you can't beat $20. It might be, because I know that's a popular style, I think. Mm -hmm. If you are, isn't it like 10% off off the head or something? I wouldn't know, because I really don't know if we're out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10% it's off anyway, because it's on the mannequin. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, what is going on? Why can't I find it? Who's calling me? I don't know who's calling me. <laughs> Well, if not, I do like this color, though. Okay. So you want to go ahead and get Yeah, I'll one? go ahead and get that one. Okay. But I'm going to go look for some um, glue real fast. Okay, I'll go ahead and pack it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. See, they're nice here at the wig store. I like them. All right, I'm going to show you all the, the glue that I use as soon as I can find it. No, ma'am, I'm good. Just looking. Let's see, guys. I like short hair, though. You have to wait till you see it on. That's the thing. You have to wait till you see it on. Okay. Here is one of the glues that I use. And let me make sure, because I don't want to do it and then it's not there yeah this is one of the wigs I or glue oh no that's not it I don't see it I, they have it at Walmart I'll have to go to Walmart and get it 
But I can show you the lashes, I guess. If they have the 199s, I don't know if they do or not. No, they have 100s. Let me turn y'all around for a minute. You just have to see it on me, tell you, that's all. These are the lashes that I like to get. This is like lash galore for me here. Two or threes, twenties, one hundred. I like those big lashes, girls. And gentlemen. Alright. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. See, and this is where I get a lot of my jewelry from. All in here. I love that blue. That blue is really pretty. Look at that blue. All right, let's see. Let me go this way. Yeah, that's it. Excuse me. I'm just looking at the jewelry. <laughs> I'm a big bling queen. Bling bling everywhere. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Look at that ring, Talia. Isn't that ring cool? We do need so one. Look at that. So that's what I'm worried about. Like, why do I keep getting no? Okay, guys. Let's get out of here because I gotta go to. I need to go to um. Oh, uh -oh my ring, my coin fell. And they sell uh. What types of stuff here? Let's see. Oh, I like this. That was pretty. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, let's pay for this and get this out. And... Now this is what I like to tell you. Okay. Look at all those liners. Just looking. How much is this one? Okay. How much is that one? Yeah, that's fine. I got to do my eyebrows anyway, so. There you go. Is this all? Yes, I just took it off. And now I'm just looking at this real fast. This is what I use for my eyelashes right there. They 
y'all so much. No problem. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, boy. I put my card back up. Thank you. Oh, I'm about to talk to you, though. Um, now, you've watched Family... Have you ever seen Family Guy? Yeah. Okay. I'm going as Peter Griffin for Halloween. And one of my co-workers is going as Lois Griffin. So I'm looking for her uh, Lois Griffin wig. That's orange. Yeah, well, you know what Lois Griffin's hair looked like. It's like an orangey kind of oh, reddish okay. color. And I know Make used to, I know used to at the front, they would have like the white and the blue and the purple and all the bright colors. But it was like in a bob. Just like a simple little bob. Okay. Which one am I looking for? I'm trying to remember the name, but I can't. So I'm trying to find the one I'm looking for. <laughs> right. Where is it? Yeah, almost like that, yeah. I don't think this one's going to have it, but no, I'm looking at the name. Um, it's 49, 47. Well, I'm not worried about the price. Okay. I was just trying to figure out, because I'm going to come back this weekend and get one. Because that Which, knowing my luck, it, you won't have any in the red. See, it's more of a brighter, almost like that color orange up there, that color red. Uh, yeah. That's as good as you're going to get because that's the last one. Right. <laughs> At least over here, that's as good as you're going to get. Right. Yeah, if it's a, yep, it's a 30, but it has blonde in it. That's the only one that's a little bit okay. golder. All right. So, I'm going to put this at the bottom. Okay. Well, I'll be back this weekend, or probably Monday is whenever I'll come back. Okay. All right, thank you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to Ulta. Ulta Beauty. I had to use the bathroom. There's a Chinese restaurant right there. Bobbing for redheads, right? Somebody done left their goddamn. Oh Lord, I'm tired. All right. So that wasn't too bad. I got to save two dollars off and bought the thing to do my eyebrows in the um, little shaver thing so we're going to see how well that works for me which I doubt it will but <laughs> you never know yes and uh, I want to say tell you Jackie just told me that they were having a, a sale which I told Jackie she can't tell me these things because I go and spend a lot of money that I shouldn't spend <laughs> Natalia, did you um, did you change your name on your YouTube, or is that a new one? I almost didn't recognize you at first if it wouldn't have been for your picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you know, um, Anthony was paying homage to your name, um, Adventures with Talia. His uh his YouTube channel name is um Adventures with Tony. And uh he was like, Yeah, I'm gonna pay homage to Talia because I love Talia so much. Alright, let's go to Ulta Beauty. Let me remember how to get to Ulta Beauty. Oh yeah, it's this way. Here we go, guys. Our local news channel is across the street from where I am right now. I always wanted to wait till they went live and just get buck ass naked and go streaking across the stage. Woo!
Well, that's okay, tell you. I understand. I completely understand. Now, tomorrow morning, I got to get up. I've got to come back over here this way. Um, because I got to go play, uh, bodyguard with, uh, Charity's mama. Well, that's okay. It's always good to rearrange. I also have an update on, um, Simply Beautiful's mother, Eric, had came in and, um, gave me an update and gave everyone an update and stuff. Um, he said the nurses had just left uh, there and um, that they told him or they told them that it could possibly be tonight when she passes away. So um, just keep your sending positive energy that way. So 18 days in the hospital. Well, that's good, Cheryl. At least you're not in the hospital no more. At least you're not in the hospital. Now we have to deal with the nursing home, and sometimes those nursing homes are not are not great either. They're just as bad as hospitals. I will because I will I will stomp somebody real fast if I have to. Anthony's not allowed to go. He doesn't need to see that side of me. Which he has before, but it's better for him to get his rest for work tomorrow. Because I'm off. <laughs> and I'm still doing my live stream tonight. Um, that's why I'm coming over here now. I'm getting all the stuff I need to get done so I can go home and shower and um, everything. I decided I'm not going to do nobody but Shannon Rose tonight. I'm not going to do an illusion of this person or that person or anything like that. I'm going to do my actual makeup and just be done with it. going to my favorite store, Ulta. <laughs> That's okay. How was work today? I tried to get on so that um you would have it would make your time go by faster today. Um Jackie, I'm thinking about 9:30. It depends on what time I get home. Um but normally, if I'm not doing a makeup tutorial, it shouldn't take me long uh, to do my makeup. Barbie, it's actually not that expensive, actually. It's really not. It just depends on what brand you're getting. They have all different types of brands. And then I'm going to show off my new, um, my new wig tonight and all that stuff, so. Are you there now? Or are you at the, yeah, you need to, Barbie, you really need to go try Ulta. Ulta is really, really good. I got the short one. It was the only one that was on the um, the mannequin head, so I got 10% off of it being on the mannequin head. Um, but I got the, like the aqua blue color, um, which is okay. It's a good transition because nowadays, um, it's kind of, I would say it's like a mixture of both. It's like an aqua blue, kind of grayish, kind of greenish color. Um, but... It's a good transition because if you watch RuPaul's Drag Race from last season, everything was like those neon colors and those, those um, like the aqua colors, like the unicorn colors. There it is, the unicorn colors. You know, as a as a performer and female illusionist, you've got to try to keep up with the styles and the trends and everything like that. Um, but I was saying, Miss um, Cheryl, are you are you at the uh, nursing home now? And Barbie, stay on because when I go in here, I'll show you like some of their prices and some of their stuff that they have. That way you'll be able to see, you know, exactly what all they have and stuff. Oh, 
Oh, goodness, I can't see nothing. All right. Hold on, guys. Here we go. Whee! There's a party city right there. A to mobile. To mobile. All right, let's see. Well, do you like it better? I mean, are the people nicer, Miss Cheryl? Or I look at it this way. It's one step from you before you go home. That That's what the nursing home is about. Is It's recovery. Make sure nobody's coming. Lord, I had to park right next to my favorite, one of my favorite restaurants today. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Hey, purple or blue, how are you? We're going shopping with Shannon Rose. And I, I can show you the wig that I just bought. I got this one right here. So it's this color right here, Talia. And it's black on the other side. But this is the shape of it. Oh, I didn't notice these colors back here, y'all. They had all these colors, too. It is pretty. I like short hair, though. I've always been into short hair. But you have to find some that, you know, really fixes your face. <laughs> All right, guys, let's let's go up in Ulta Beauty. And I'm really only going in here for one thing, but I'm sure I'm going to end up buying like a buttload of stuff. Like I normally do. I just need to get eye primer. Too faced. Too faced. But then I'm going to look over here at the Urban Decay, and I'm going to see Urban Decay stuff. And I'm going to go stupid, like usual. Plus, I got to look for cologne because I got to start Christmas shopping. For Anthony. All right. Mm. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Oh, look at this. Oh. Yeah, like it's a little bright for you. A smidge. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. I need two things. Let's see. Hold on, y'all. Anti-crease primer. This is it right here. Oh, but that's $20. That's $20 for Too Faced. That one's $20. And, um, Barbie, I don't know what brand you wear or anything like that, but I'm going to take you over to the part where it's just a little bit cheaper. One of my favorite things, too, is the NYX Cosmetics. It's very affordable. They have really good palettes, like, for instance, like this one right here. And it's $20 for this. And you get this right here. And they have the glitters. Glitters are, you buy one, get one, 50%. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let's see. Now I'm going to have to buy some glitters. Yeah, so NYX Cosmetics here is like really, really cheap, guys. Really cheap. Let's see. 
But I like their glitter, and it's buy one, get one free, and it looks like it is $5.99, so it's $6. So you buy one, and then you get one cheap. It's not bad. Oh, they're out of my favorite color, though, so I'm not going to buy any. I don't need to buy it anyways. All right, let's go here. And I'm going to ask, well, real fast. Oh, Lord. Here's my, y'all, this is my favorite cologne right here. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Mm. I love the way that smells. Okay. So, other Smashbox. See, this is what Simply Beautiful on a Budget does to me. She goes shopping and then... I can't find anything. And you can't look around. Oh, here's Urban Decay stuff. Eyeshadow Primer Potion. That's 22 for that. I like that there. Alright, let me show y'all this. These are primers, eyeshadow primer, eyeshadow. Hmm. I might get this over Let's see. Alright, let's see. Oh, hold on. So that's what that primer would look like. Let's rub that in. Okay. So I like that. I do like that. Let's see. Sorry. Uh-huh. Oh, it's not going to be gray like that. It's going to be more... Let's see. And see, this is what it does right here. Let's see. But see, I, I use... This one's the one that I use. But I have it in a small, small container. Why is it like that? All right, girls, hold on. All right. So that's what that looks like. It's a little creamy right now. I forgot to shake it up, but... Anti-aging, so. Huh, it looks. Alright, so that's, that's what I want. But let's go see if NYX Cosmetics might have one. Because NYX, NYX Cosmetics might have an eyeshadow primer. Let's see. We'll, we'll turn around. Damn makeup on. Well, if you continue to watch my channel, Jackie, you will learn a lot about, um, about that. Because I do a lot of stuff. Oh, jeez. Look at this price. Oh, that's me. Look at this price. $3.99 for NYX cosmetic pencils. Why would they do this to me? <laughs> white pop primer is that for your eyes i see i like because i use super pigmented stuff so i have to use like a, a nice um eye primer um a really nice eye primer and we're gonna try to find it i know it's gotta be somewhere around here oh that's a neat looking pencil right there 
Oh, I know. I'm going Black Friday shopping, though. Right here. Uh-oh. Back here at the glitters. Let's see. Oh, well, that's pigments. These are glitters. I don't have my crystal. I like. Sticky base. Oh, okay. Hey, my crazy kids. How are you? Glitters. I'm obsessed with glitter. Okay, I gotta go away from glitter. I need some help. Hold on a minute. I got a question for you. Um, I use, because I'm a drag queen, so I use um, Too Faced, um, the anti-crease um, primer. I'll get it out in a minute. I'm looking for something that might be not as expensive as that one. Does Nick might have one? That's like a good primer that's kind of like that nude color in a way. Uh huh. As far as Nick's Urban Decay, most people go without. See, and I use, I love their eyeshadows because they're like super pigmented. So I was thinking about that too. I just didn't know which one would be the best because I saw a lot of them over there, but I just didn't know which one would be the best one. Um, as far as bases, it's going to be Urban Decay. As far as keeping it on your eye. Okay. But there's like, there was like, um, Four or five of them over there. The original. The original stuff? Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, so I guess we'll go with this one then. We're going to go with this one. I'm going to go with this one. I want to give it a try. Just just giving it a try. Because I haven't, I haven't tried this one yet, so we're going to try this one. Let me... Go back over here because now I'm starting to. Oh, that felt good. Let me go ahead and show y'all some of the things around the shop real fast. I'm gonna try to get it to where I'm not videoing anybody because I don't want to upset anybody. This is uh, Makeup Revolution. Girl, stop your face. Look at that. Look at these. Look at this price. Look at this, girls. That is awesome. I am. And I sprayed myself too with uh, my favorite cologne. Revlon. They got Revlon here. Rimmel. Let's see. So they got mask and massage skincare stuff. Which is really cool. Potpourri, pedicure stuff, oh, bath bombs, but yeah, they have a lot of, a little bit of everything in here, they got bare minimals, they have a little bit of everything, oh, cosmetic bags, oh, guys, look at this, it's a new hair dryer, and see, I'm a cosmetologist, so, Y'all hear that? Oh. See how warm it gets. I like new toys. Oh, I'm so gonna have to get me one of those. Actually, it's not that heavy. It really isn't. I was, I was thinking that it would be heavy too, but it's not. Alright, and so they have all these. This is um, a cosmetologist dream right here. It would be all this. They've got these. Flat irons. Curling irons. They've got all types of um, Paul Mitchell stuff. they got Matrix. Everything I used to sell at... Um, you can get the same stuff at Walmart. Uh, they have a bedhead one. Wands. Oh, cool. Talia, look at this. 
Is this a, what is this? Let's see what it is. It's an actual hair dryer. It's a hair dryer that's a brush. I think that's pretty neat. Now see, I'm used to using these at uh, the stores. Uh, whenever I do cosmetology, guys, this is what I do right here. Uh, the one that looks like anal beads. You would have the one that looks like anal beads. Alright, let's go decide if I want this glitter or not. Let's go see. Oh, that's how you look. Barbie, I think this colors would look good on you, Barbie. Talia, these would look good on Talia. Miss Jackie, that would probably look good on you. All right, let's. I'm. I keep going to these stupid glitters, guys. I'm gonna end up buying a glitter. I'm gonna have to. Nope, I'm not buying a glitter. This is what I'm buying. All right. So I'm. Oh Lord. Look, y'all. I didn't. Came over here to. Whatever this is. Correct and conceal. I've never used those. Nail polishes, lipsticks, all types of stuff. Pull up my Ultra card here. Let me find my Ultra card real fast. Uh -oh. Is that in my other wallet? No, it's right here. Oh God, I thought it was in my other wallet. Uh -oh. Oh. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Great. Oh, yep, that's fine. Sean? Yes, ma'am. Yes. What's the last name on that? Is it Tantillo? Yep. Tantillo? Yep, Tantillo. You said it right the first time. A lot of our chefs. Would you like to make a donation of breast cancer research? Uh, yes. How much would you like to do? Um, let's do $5. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I use Urban Decay eyeshadow, so I'm going to try this and see how I like that. Because normally the, the sure. eye primer I use is Too Faced, um, mm -hmm. the anti-crease. Somebody had gave me like a little trial size of it. I like this one better. Okay. This is what I use. And I have, I've tried a few I've different ones. I've even tried Urban Decay's anti-aging one, and it it's just not as good as the original. Right. Yeah, I thought about that one. Alright, so it's $28.76. Okay. Do you need a bag for this? Um, you... sure, I'll take a okay. bag. I think so. Yeah, this will, I mean, this will work with anything. It doesn't have to be Urban Decay. It works with everything, actually. Right. Yeah, I've got a lot of friends. One of my good friends, I'm, I have a YouTube channel that I do makeup tutorials and stuff. So I'm actually YouTube live now, but one of my YouTube uh, subscribers, a mother is passing away of cancer right now. So, and my aunt just passed, my great aunt just passed away from cancer. So, yeah, but, you know. All right, thank you, and I will definitely be back in. What um, what type of sales are are y'all gonna send out like emails or anything for Black Friday? As a, as far as like what sales and stuff are going on. Usually, it usually starts like the week of Thanksgiving. Okay. When they'll start sending out emails, letting you know what's gonna be on sale. Right, because I'm planning. I want to spend at least three hundred dollars on here. I would do it all online, then you don't have to leave your house. Oh no, I like the whole. <laughs> well, and plus now that I have this, I can do that, you know, show, okay. yeah. you know, the, whenever I do in my makeup tutorials, I show them what I use and what's the best product for me and, you know, yeah. they go out and try it and buy it. So, all right. Okay. Thank you. All right. So that was my little adventure. Since center's fell it. I, I want it to the cat suit lippies i don't like it okay i will not buy that i promise you i will not buy it if talia says don't buy it and she don't like it that means it she means it don't buy it all right guys so now we're gonna get back in the car so honestly all in all i really didn't spend that much money today which i'm very proud of myself but while i have you right here 
let's just kind of fix that up there a little bit that was fun and see where I have pantyhose and stuff like my I use dance tights um, because I don't shave my legs or anything so I can't go to the buffet because if I do Anthony will kill me but all in all I bought three things today which I typically don't buy a lot of stuff but I do but Anthony doesn't know I normally buy a lot of stuff um, so in Ulta today I spent $22 on this Urban Decay original um, the eyeshadow primer which is right here so I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna make I'm gonna see how that works I also donated $5 uh, to breast cancer today in honor of Simply Beautiful's mother um, and then I spent $20 and 50 cent on the wig store so I got the the new wig and I've got um, the eyebrow uh, shavy thingy so all in all today I spent right at $50 today which is not a bad a bad purchase because normally wigs are pretty expensive or at least the ones that I normally wear I'm nervous about this thing because I've never used this hey TPG how are you boo I've never used one of these so let's see I don't know if y'all can see. Justice! Girl, you missed it, honey. I just went, I just left um, Ulta in the wig store. Oh. I should have got them to do my eyebrows while I was in there, but. Oh well, I've got this thing now, which will, it seemed to, it seemed to do a pretty decent job on this side anyway. Alright, I want to see what this looks like, so I'm going to open it up. Um, I, Justice, I've gotten an update from Eric as to uh, Simply's mother, um, and it's not good, so we need to send some positive vibes her way. Um, the nurses, he said the nurses just came in not too long ago, probably about an hour ago, um, and said that tonight could be possibly the night that, uh, she leaves us here and, uh, she goes to heaven. So, or wherever, you know, you believe where they go. Um, so in her honor today, and I know it's not much, but every little bit counts, um, in honor, while I was over here at Ulta, I donated $5 in her name, so or in her honor, and I told the girls that. Okay, guys, so this is the, this is the primer. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Like I said, I've never used this stuff. I'm so used to using my fingers and stuff. Let's see. All right, let's see. We'll do it on this side for you guys. Can y'all see that? Can you guys see that? All right, so now I'm just gonna, gonna push it all in there. All right, let me let that dry and then I'll tell you how it feels. I mean, right now it just feels like, it feels like the other thing. Uh, the Too Faced that I've used, which I do like the Too Faced eyeshadow primer. Um, I absolutely love the uh, face primer that she gave me. That simply gave me, yes. I think somebody just left the Panda Express in it and pay. It wasn't me, girls. I pay for my food. Yeah, I, I'm trying that one. Uh, primer potion. I got the original because they said that the original was the best. Um, the next one that I'm going to try, let me get to it real fast. Oh, I just saw TPHD saying there's a, a hoe in here. There is. You got on the live chat. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, 
There's a NYX has a white pot primer. I'm going to try that one, so I'm going to write that down. Um, a few of them are, were in here, so I'm going to try all those and see how I like those. So far, this feels pretty pretty decent. Um, I'm not going to do anything crazy with my eyes tonight. Um, I'm just going to do like a regular smoky eye. See how well that works. Um, which I love doing the smoky eye anyways. That's just who I am. I might add a little bit of color since I've got a little bit of color in that wig. Yeah, NYX is decent. There's certain things of NYX that I like, certain things that I don't like. Um, it's really hard to find like base and foundation, but I think one day, and I might actually come back in tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm going to shave really good tonight, and then I'm going to actually ask them to put some base on my face because I really want to find something that I can, I can um, try to get. I want to get the whole thing because I'm telling you, Black Friday, it's over.com because I'm going to go shopping. I just got to get, the only thing with the primer potion, I've just got to get used to it actually being on like a brush. I'm not used to that. Oh Lord, I can't get it out now. But, either way, look tell you, my eyes are not even that blue or gray today. They're almost like crystal today. What are you cooking me, Barbie? I like your profile picture, by the way. <laughs> oh, I can get that shadow off. Now, that's not a problem. Um, I use the uh, Neutrogena... Is it called Neutrogena? Anyways, it's a makeup wipe. One of those takes off my my entire face, and then I go back over it again um, just to make sure I got everything off. I know, girl. I'm hungry. Don't tease a fat girl. Oh Lord, I just realized, I just sprayed myself with this cologne. I don't have this cologne right now at the house. Well, I do, but the little sprayer thing didn't work. Make it work more. Jeez. Oh, that sounds so good. I'm coming, I'm on my way now. Let me call my husband and tell him I'm going to go eat with Barbie. <laughs> Actually, we had, we, um, I cooked fried pork chops and um, fried okra and um, some uh, fried potatoes with onions and bell peppers in it. That's true, that's true. That's true. You do have the best sons ever. Is TPG even it still in here? Oh, See, I'm just going to have to do a round, around the country thing. TPG, what are you cooking tonight? Well, you ain't cooking nothing. What's your roommate cooking tonight? I started filling out that application, by the way. Um, I actually found one for Millbrook. So that's the one I'm filling out right now. I'm filling out for a few of them. I think today is like a pasta, taco salad, and pork chop kind of night. That's what I'm feeling. I think I might have to... I am doing one for all, but right now I'm, I can only do one at a time. So, um, and it's a lot to put on there. I'm having to remember a lot of stuff. I just put on their experience zero cause I don't know.
I gotta get home and go take a shower and put my makeup on and stuff so I can. I'm gonna go live about 9:30 or so. I'm gonna do my advice column tonight, my advice show, and it will be age restricted. Um, everything will be on the table. You can ask me whatever you want to. As far as advice goes. Well, honey, I'll give you some advice. You just ask the question, I'll give you some advice. But since it's starting to become nighttime, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because um, it's hard for me to see at night and then also trying to concentrate on the, on the phone. So I just wanted to tell everyone... Um, I love you all. Um, I love you all. Um, because I don't believe in goodbye, saying goodbye. I believe in saying say, see you later. Um, but I love y'all. Um, and I will see you about 9.30 or so, okay? Um, if you have not... If you haven't followed me on Twitter, my thing is at SPercival28. If somebody could type that in the chat, that would be great. Because I can't type and all that stuff. It won't let me do it. But it's at SPercival28. And that's P-E-R-C-I-V-A-L. But I love you guys very much, and I will see you at 9.30. Much love and lip gloss.